Well, hey, everybody. It is Monday night. So is the Rock Your Life Team Zoom. Hope everybody is having an amazing day. Amazing. Amazing. Good to see all your faces. This is Jojo. I'm sitting here, carless. I'm about to lose my car in five minutes and still haven't found a new one. So I'm still taking off. I know I'm crazy. What? Good to see you guys. Hey, Carter. Hey, Sean. Good to see you, Sean. How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Awesome. So let's start out with some gratitudes, celebrations, happy things. Laura, I just want you to wait one second, and we'll let's do our gratitudes first, and then we'll we'll bring Pam on. All right. Somebody got a gratitude? Nobody? Katya. Hello. Hello. I'm super grateful for the super Saturday we had on Saturday. Um, hence, super Saturday. It was really great. I loved the layout different than what we usually would expect from a super Saturday. It was more like a workshop, and it was awesome oh. really was great working in small groups we got to know some other people here in vegas at our nice and didn't know us yet and um like i said at the meeting it really helps when you're giving an assignment a little challenge that you have someone who gives you the little kick in the booty to do it so it was awesome awesome thank you it was fun Yep. Hey, Dirk, good to see your face. And you're muted out, so that's okay. Oh, I got to figure, I have to figure that out. That's okay. I got your back. Woo. Okay. All right, guys. Am I there? Yep, yeah, we're here. We see yeah, you. Let me straighten myself out a bit. <laughs> you're good. I'm you're not good. used to all this, you know. You're beautiful. Hey, we're we're going to get you into the, we're going to get you into this century, I promise. Okay. Dan and Ange, is it cold there, man? You look like you just came in from the tundra. <laughs> Taking gratitude, celebrations, who's happy, what, what, what good stuff's going on. Somebody share something awesome that we can all get excited about. Can I go quick? Please. More of a personal development note, and it was about energy and just how how sensitive I've become to energy and when I'll, I'll give you a quick story. I'm at line, I'm in line at price shop and we all talk about people, you know, connected with the people in line at the grocery store. So <laughs> I'm there with, with Vinny and he watched this whole interaction <laughs> and I'm, I'm just talking with the cashier a little bit and I turn back to the guy behind me as the girls get in my Fuck. grocery ready. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? What happened? You're good. Go. Oh. So I, I, I look back and the guy's got a t-shirt on with Bose on it, right? So I say, I said, you work for Bose? And he's like, he's like, no, I used to. I said, well, Bose, they get they have really good product. And he says, yeah, if you want to pay for it. And I said, oh, and he was giving me just this junky energy. And I just turned away from him and I went about my business. You know, I'm like, dude, really? You're going to, I'm, I was beside myself, but point being, it wasn't like I was even, when that happened, I just kind of shut the door and I just moved forward as opposed to letting it impact me at all because we only have so much energy to expend in a day. And in that situation, it was like, I just wanted to connect with him because I truly like Bose products and he just, it's like, it's like you talk to someone, dude, it's freaking beautiful out today, isn't it? Yeah, but it's all wet because the snow's melting. It's a beautiful day. So energy, and you exude positive energy, Jojo. When did you give this to us? About four years ago? It was longer. Than, it has a date on it. Oh. I promise you it does. <laughs> Somewhere. 2012? Oh, yeah, 2012. So he gave this to us four years ago, right? Yep. It says, what does it say? It says, life, life is an echo what you send out comes back and it couldn't be more true right so that's my little compact story about energy be a boomerang 
boomerang effect yeah <laughs> awesome thank you it's true we talked about it this morning right vibration anybody else have a celebration a woohoo oh, yeah, a whoop whoop denny's got no tooth you want to smile and show everybody <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you talk back to your wife and she has to pick Thanks, hangover <laughs> flashback. <laughs> it's all right. So, hey, Laura. Yes. I know you have a special guest on tonight and we had talked about bringing some of our people on to celebrate their successes. And mm -hmm. so I would love for you to introduce Pam and tell us what's going on there. So that's Laura, you guys, I know you can't see your face because well, for whatever reason, her, her, her stuff's not working tonight, but. Can you hear me? Pam, are you on? Yeah. Can, can you hear me? You? Okay, good, good. Well, um, Pam and I are both, yeah. Can you hear me, Pam? Yes. Okay. okay. Pam, and I, Pam and I are both blonde. This is Laura, so <laughs> you can't see us. But we're both blonde, right? <laughs> and um, I'm so excited to um, just introduce Pam because she is just, I call her a sunshine girl. She really is just a bright light of a person. And I met Pam, I was doing a, a display booth um, at a YMCA down in um, South Carolina. And we met there and she's a runner and she can share with you her experience. I'm not going to steal her thunder, but I'm just, when Jojo talks about gratitude, I'm just so grateful that I did that booth that day and had the opportunity to have my life intersect with hers because we're already um, just developing a really fun, fun friendship. Um, and I just can't see, wait to see where she goes directionally and um, her journey with isogenics um, from a health and um, you know a life standpoint as well as well as our friendship so with that Pam was so willing to get on tonight and share her story um, since she started isogenics back in it was in November right yes is uh -huh. that when you started in November okay. all right so drum well, roll okay well You're um, on, girl Okay, last year, I had a very mediocre year. I had tried to lose weight, and I run, and I could lose maybe three pounds, and that would be about it, and I would gain it back. So at the end of the year, I met Laura, and um, I had been looking for something, and when um, she had a, a drawing, and I won her drawing. It was a sample package. And I tried the products. I said, oh, my gosh, I need to, to buy some of this. So um, that's when the company had a, a free membership. So I had to join because it was on sale. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, I ran um, several races. I normally run several races every year, and I did this 10-miler um, this past Saturday, and improved my time by 19 minutes over last year. Wow. So, I mean, that was just huge. And yeah. I've run three races since the beginning of the year, and I've improved every one. So, I'm really happy. Well, you know, good I'm very stuff's excited about that. Your time's improving. Awesome. Yes. And, and people go. are asking, there's, they're coming after me, wanting to know what I'm doing. Are you telling them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to share our gifts, right? Yes. That's so, so awesome. Yep. Yeah. I'm well, trying to share, well, so. Go ahead. And they seem to be open. I'm sending them a couple of videos that Laura suggested. So I guess tomorrow I can follow up with them and see so, where it goes. Let me they ask you a question, a Pam. With what you know okay. now, with what you know now, would it matter if it was on sale? 
Yes, because then I could buy more, right? <laughs> but you know now, would you have bought it, sale or no sale? I probably would have paid the twenty nine dollars. Ah, see, so you would have paid for it. No, oh, yes. no, no. Okay. Yes. That's yes. what I'm asking you. So I just want us all to okay. celebrate you. I'm gonna unmute everybody, and we're all gonna go. Woo! Way to go! Woo! Woo. Guys are all up here. going. Now I muted you guys. So. You don't want to woo like that. You're funny. Hey Pam, thanks so much for for sharing your story and being on. We just want to celebrate you and and totally awesome. And oh, I know it's you. a little out of your comfort zone to come on and, and chat with us, but we appreciate you telling your story and thanks for hopping on. And please, if you feel, if you feel like you want to stay on and, and listen to the rest of this, that would be great. We would love to have you stay on. Okay. Hey, there's, she also left okay. off that you dropped, she dropped two dress sizes, too, <gasps> by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot I dropped two dress sizes. You lose it, you forget it was there. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Since you couldn't lose nothing but three pounds, I think two dress sizes is pretty good, yeah? Well, absolutely. Can't buy a lot of new clothes, so. <laughs> good for you. Well, that's that's fun awesome. With that. Thanks so much for being on. Thanks, Laura. We appreciate you. Oh, um, sure. Thank you. All right, guys. So we talked about, we had this Super Saturday over the weekend, and we did this workshop type of setup. And um, part of it worked out really well, and part of it we learned from, and we go, okay, we'll do it differently next time a little bit. And that's part of doing something new. We, we learn and grow and you know, plan to review. And um, we learned this really cool thing called ILT. So what we were learning was how important it is to be seen on Facebook and do these little short little two minute videos to brand ourselves and how we can find our niche. So it doesn't matter, but what's your niche? So ask yourself, you know, what are the top five things that you love to do? And figure out what those are. So maybe it's, you know, putting little slides inside your cabinet and that's what you're really good at. But how many people would want to know that and watch the video? Because I totally watched the video. So, um, right? But what about whatever those things are for you? And it can be anything. And we're going to shoot two-minute videos on, you know, how to get grease out of our pants or how to make my curly hair straight or whatever those things are that we're great at that somebody would pop on and watch us do. And so we gave everybody a a challenge to shoot a video right then. It was really shocking to me of how many people in the room had never done a video. Had never done a video. And there's one of them on the screen right now who I'm surprised has never done a video. And, um, but we, you see what happens when you put yourself out there. So I'm just going to, Katya, I want you to teach the ILT and what we learned from Molly because I think it's a pretty cool little four step we love the process right we're, lear we're learning law of process right now so tell us the steps yeah so that one person on the screen that would be me i had never done a facebook live i've been thinking and thinking and thinking about it and i just never had the courage to hit that button and just do it but as Jojo knows, when someone throws a challenge at me, I'm usually pretty good at raising my hand and jumping in. So I did my very first one on Saturday at the event. Um, it was kind of just like a quick fun thing. But now I'm, I was challenged to do one every single day. And um, for the next seven days at least, and I think I'm just going to keep going after that. So what ILT stands for is... I don't know if you guys can see this, but invest, teach, and learn. So, like Molly was saying, she had invested actually in a program by Ray Higdon who teaches those quick 
steps how to really do a good two, three minute Facebook Live video. So she invested in the program, she learned it, applied it herself, and then on Saturday, she turned around and taught us how to do it. But that, of course, also applies to whatever you want to share in your Facebook Live video. So you can learn about something new um, and, you know, invest, take some time to learn it and then turn around and teach it to the people that might be interested. Like Jojo said, there's all kinds of stuff out there. The ones I have posted so far have to do with getting outside. Um, so I just shot one with us walking the dogs in little neighborhood trails and encouraging people to go out and discover what might be in their neighborhood. So there's a little bit of a flow to it. And if you go on my Facebook, I'm, I miss the steps still all the time. But at least when I'm done with the Facebook Live, I'm thinking, hmm, I should have said this and I could have done this better. So it's a practice and um, I'm gonna get better every day. So you wanna think about how can you make someone's day better by posting and sharing some information. Like how is this gonna make someone's day better what you have to share? <clears throat> and then she mentioned that the most watched videos on YouTube are the how-to videos like Jojo mentioned how to get grease off your pen or with the curly hair or how to fix something real quick, how to get a stain out of a shirt. The how-tos are really, really awesome and they get a lot of traction. So there's a little bit of a flow to how you want to introduce your Facebook life. There's a little, if you've never done one before, there's a little um, caption that you can, you can give your Facebook Live a title. So you want this to be something that's engaging, that creates some curiosity of, of, about what, what you're about to share. <clears throat> then really the first steps should be, I'm gonna show you A, B, C, one, two, three, I'm gonna share this with you. You want to pretty much give people an idea of what you will be sharing in the next two, three minutes, and then you go into the details of it. That kind of makes sense? So you want to give them an idea of what you will be talking about there. And that's something I will definitely have um, to work on, because my goal with my little short ones is really to create the curiosity about, hey, what, where can I do, go in my neighborhood for a quick walk, 15, 20 minutes around the block? What can I do there? So I'm working on that a little bit. <clears throat> then when you, when you answer your question or answer your, your own questions to that, he pointed out, and I never really thought about this, really a call to action on your video. And that can just be a, hey guys, I'm doing this the first time, show me some love, like it, comment it, comment on it. If you don't encourage people, if you don't call out and say, hit the like button, I know you're watching, comment or like it. People will do it if you ask them to, but people will also just watch if there's no trigger for them to hit like or comment if they're not used to that kind of communication yet. And um, of course, in the very beginning, you do want to introduce yourself real quick because this can go way beyond your friends on Facebook. So people can watch this, can come across this, they might not know you. So say real quick, hey, I'm Katya from Las Vegas, I'm the one with the funny accent, whatever, you know, something like that. When you close out your call, always be grateful for something. Go back to your, your points of topic that you address those, those three items. And for me, it would be, hey, I'm so grateful that I'm living in the desert and I don't have to walk through snow to take my dogs out, right? <clears throat> Something that you're really grateful for that does relate to your topic. Your message popping up there. And then what's really important at the end, every like, every comment 
really is a lead for you. It's a reason to reach out to those people and say, hey, thank you so much for liking, um, for liking my, my video, for post, for commenting on it. And you just reach out to them in a private, private message, thank them for their time, and start a conversation. Just connect with them, you know, see what's going on in their lives. It's a lead and it's a great way to get back in touch with someone. Let's see. Jojo, what did I miss? Really important, keep it, keep it to two, three minutes. Uh, Ray Hickton calls it the three minute expert. So whatever you are sharing, make sure it doesn't go over the three minutes because people have a short um, attention span. They will look and see how long the thing is. If they look the recording, watch the recording. People will look at the bar below and see how long it is. And if it's five, six minutes, never mind. It's too long. And so, I think that too, once you have a following, you can do a longer video because people will hang out. Right. They, they, you've already created value for them. But in the beginning, when you're creating a following, if it's over three minutes, people are going to tune out. So, and that's, this is the whole goal, right? To, to increase your following. So you want to be consistent time-wise when you go on. If anyone is following Lisa Dunsky, she has lunch with Lisa, I believe. Um, so you know she's going to come on for lunchtime. So you want to be consistent on the time a little bit. And then once you created your following and you feel like you want to share something about your nutritional system without mentioning it, then you can go a little bit longer because people will value already what you've shared so far and they're more likely to listen to something that's maybe five, six minutes where you're sharing a great product that might help someone with their workout or something. And then, you know, right. find a way to do that without blasting isogenics all over. Right. Awesome. Thank you. It was really helpful for me to see the steps and then go, okay, I could do that in two minutes. Intro myself, blah, blah, blah. You know, you guys want to know about straight and curly hair and this product is great. And, you know, go try this. And thanks for being here and watching my silly little video about my hair. <laughs> Quick like, whatever. Send me some love. Send me a heart. Let me know you're out there. So call the action to get them to do what you want them to do. Nervous, first time I've ever done this, somebody send me some love and see who will throw you out some hearts or whatever. Laura, you wanna add anything into that? Any thought processes? No, I'm not a huge Facebook video girl, so to be honest. Okay. Uh, I mean, I've done a few, but I don't, I don't do them and I don't watch them, to be honest. If ah, that's interesting. So, yeah, there are certain things that I just, I'll scroll right by it. I have zero interest. So what we found is that people who, when you do a live video, people are more apt to watch you because they know you're live. They get a notification that you're live, that people are more apt to click the live video than they are to click on one that was recorded. Oh, I, I don't argue the statistics behind it and I would sell it and coach it and push it. I just don't do it. So just in full honesty and to be truthful, I don't do it. I don't watch it. Um, but you should do it. And what Katja was saying was all great. Um, there's plenty of stuff you can just Google on how to, you know, get Facebook live, right? When's a good time to do it? You know, play to your audience, all the same things with your posts apply to Facebook live. Awesome. Um, I'm not saying I'm definitely, you should absolutely do it. Embrace it. If that's your thing, absolutely knock it out of the park. But just, well, we always want to, we always want to defer to you. you don't see it on my page, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> that, and you know, what was another great idea was to just Google, you know, five steps to blah, 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 and then go make a video about it. That's all there. All you do is go learn it and then reteach it. Learn it and then reteach it. And it's all information that's there. You don't have to go, re re you know, reinvent the wheel. You're just putting yourself out there to be seen. Who would like to take the challenge to do a video for the next seven days? That's going to be two minutes and practice the four steps. We put the challenge out to everybody on Saturday. I already know Kati is in. Anybody want to do take one, the challenge? Do one every day or just one over the next seven days? Every day over the next. Every day. It's two minutes. 
Hey, once a week is not consistency, chat. Oh, <laughs> call out. Call out. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, if we do yeah, so you your hand, right? you know, it's, it's, what's it? It's the same thing. We'll do a video blitz. One, one a day. At one, at pick one of the, the key um, posting times and do a little two minute video. Chad, you have a ton of stuff you could talk about. You could talk about stretching, rolling. Oh, my shoulder's sore. What can I do to stretch out my shoulder? There's a billion things that you could teach in two minutes. Chad, Chad. You're still putting me in the spotlight? No one else is stepping up? Hey, because you wanted to help yourself out, so now you're on it, brother. Chad, no, I had, I had a question. I had a question. That was okay, a legit what's question. your question? Sorry. No, it was whether it was just one, like everyone does one over the next seven days, or is it – you know, that one person does one every day for the next seven days. The that seven was. days. You guys could do a week of two minute videos. Chad, Nobody's taking the challenge. Where Chad, are my leaders flash video. first, man? Uh, I know. No, I'll take, I'll Janet, take the challenge. There we go. Janet had raised her hand. Okay, Jeanette. Jeanette. I know you're working on that too. And you're muted. So if you want to chat, if you want to say something, you got to unmute. Oh, no, you're not. Why can't I hear you? I can't hear you. I see you. I see your mouth moving, but nothing's coming out. <laughs> I don't know what's going on because it says you're unmuted. No. Sign language. Okay, you're in. I got gotcha. you. All right, guys. I'm, I just wanted to put, I wanted to put that out there. And did you guys all see the compensation video I posted up in Rock Your Life? I would recommend that you go back and watch it. It's about 48 minutes long. But what it does is it takes it through simplicity of our compensation plan, of, of breaking it down into terminology. So somebody who really wants to understand how this compensation plan works, it's not what I would use as an introduction video but to really help somebody understand how it works, I would use it then and I would recommend everybody take a peek at it. At least. I will. Cool? Cool. Awesome. Cool. So how about um, an in-person challenge outside of a video challenge? Who has business cards, anybody? Do they actually have business cards? I said business cards? Okay. What if you challenge yourself over the next week to go out every single day in person, find happy people, they're out there somewhere, I promise, and um, merely say that people like you do such a great job in what I do I'm looking to expand here. I'm expanding my business. I would love to bring you in. I am going to hand you my card. Would love to have you call me so we could chat further about it. Or if you know people that are as excited and happy as you are, I would love to talk to them too. And don't say anything else and walk away. Give them your card and then see. And really all it's, all it's to do is to connect. Uh, and it's not to get their information. And if it goes that far and that's what happens and they go, wait, 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 and I want to know more and, and that's all great. Add them on Facebook, do the whole thing. But really what it's, what it's to do is to get you to connect without any expectation whatsoever other than to hand them a card or hand them your information and say, if you're interested, let me know. Say it however. Katya, how did, what was your script when I sent you out to do that a billion years ago? <laughs> do you remember what your script was? You said it like 700 times, so you should remember. Was, <laughs> uh, wow, I don't even remember. It was really just, I was, I walked out like in malls and especially those people that, that work those kiosks because they are fearless. They have no problem. They stop you while you're walking and they smack some lotion on your fingers. Um, so they're, <laughs> they're pretty fearless. And I just said, um, you know, someone who's as outgoing as you are would be really doing well in, in what I do. And you had given me actually the assignment 
just to talk to people and write down how many people I talk to and where. And if I got a name, that's awesome. I ended up with a bunch of phone numbers and email addresses too. And, um, and the New York kickoff ticket. <laughs> so that, was, that was my price. Yeah, it, was, um, it, it wasn't as, as bad. It, in the beginning, like the first time I went out, it felt really awkward, but the more I did it, it, it didn't bother me after a while. And sometimes I would take um, Austin along with me, Austin Page, Jennifer's son, and we just kind of tag teamed. And um, yeah, and the whole, the whole idea was, behind it was to get over that anxiety of just talking to, to people. Just detect the ones that are friendly, that have a smile on their face, that sometimes you would just watch someone interact with a customer at a kiosk and then walk up to them and say, hey, we just saw you interact with that customer. That was really awesome. Um, loved the way you handled that or loved the way, you know, they were really cranky and it didn't phase you or whatever that might have fit. Just complimented them on that interaction and just took it from there. So how easy to go out and connect like that, but we feel so uncomfortable with it. But when you expect nothing back, you don't go out with the thought of, I have to get them on Facebook or I have to get a phone number or I have to, I have to do any of that. All you're doing is handing them your information with no expectation. And then think about how awesome if somebody will pick up the phone and call you back, how motivated they are. It gets you over the fear, gets you connecting and get your information out there. And you can always go back and touch base with them later. What do you think? That's interesting because I actually got away from carrying business cards with me because I always felt like I hand them out and then the ball is no longer in my court. I don't, I have no control of what's going to happen. So I've been really getting better at asking people, Hey, are you on Facebook? Would love to stay in touch. And most people say, sure. I mean, I do it right on the spot to make sure I got the right profile. I got the right person. And that's been working out this last week with a couple of people. One was the bank teller and the other girl. Awesome. I remember where I met her. So that interesting. I might have to get back to business. Part. What do you guys think? You guys look really tired tonight. Everybody stand up, jump up and down, do like 20 jumping jacks and then come back. <laughs> Dude, I'd say as long, as long as you're getting their information and, any interaction is awesome. You know, if you get your card, giving it to them, I'm always one. I'm always one. If I feel like I'm connecting with someone, whether it's a waitress or, you know, not the guy behind the line with the bow shirt on, but anyone else with good energy, I'm going to look to get some type of info. And I mean, uh, for instance, the lady was, uh, or a girl was given wine samples on Saturday. So I'm walking around and, you know, I'd go over and I'd say, you know, sample the wine, had a quick little chit chat with her. And I'm like, so what is this your only, the only thing that you do? And do you work outside of this? And she's like, well, I do the accounting for them. And I said, well, do you, do you love it? She's like, well, I kind of, I said, well, do you want to do more? Like, do you want to have more freedom? She's like, yes. So I, right there, I said, are you on Facebook? And then it just unfolded. And 99% of the time people are going to be either on Facebook and LinkedIn. So my, this is just my personal belief would be to get their info and connect with them some way, somehow. Nick, were you shaking your head? You don't think so? I'm sorry. I was, Steph asked me a question. Because <laughs> oh, I, 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 I want to get in a discussion. Is that how other people feel? Because I feel like if I hand a card out and I don't get their info, I may have just lost connection with someone that I had, you know, had a, a good uh, good vibe with no and and in normal operation and throughout your day-to-day -day all the time i think what you're saying chad is definitely the way to go but in the terms of this exercise and when this was originally brought up it wasn't a practice of doing that it was a practice of just getting outside of your comfort zone to 
grow yourself and desensitize yourself to talking to people. Mm. Ooh. And just, and just, no, but just like, just giving love to people because you just want to be like, Hey, you're awesome. Here's my card. I'd love to work with you. You know? That's, okay. That's cool. And, and so how, what you're talking about on a day to day basis throughout your entire life. Like, yeah, like that's what we want to do. We want to actually connect with people and get their info. But as far as like little, you know, a little exercise like this, that's not the point of it. Yeah. Right, Jojo? Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Nick. But I, I see him taking it to the next step and feeling like, but you're way more advanced in this than a lot of us are. And so we want to help people that are, you know, not feeling comfortable with the connection. But even if you went out with the thought of not having to have the expectation, your connection could be different on a different level. And so you never know what happens. It's just the thought of somebody who's already feeling uncomfortable, how, how much easier it is to not feel like they have to go get something from somebody that they're just offering. But I, yeah. I agree with you both. Yes. That was a topic of, uh, in uh, fearless networking too. Todd Falcone talks about just, I mean, I think he posted something a couple weeks ago saying he's got people who, just love to to be connected with him just because he calls and just to you know excuse my friends but shoot the shit you know yes he has people that he talked he's talked to about the business and found that they're not interested in the business but he's still he's still good friends with them so um yeah i get it i get it well if everybody if we could only be friends with the people that joined us in our business we'd be in a lot of trouble yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying that. <laughs> I know you're not. Lisa, <laughs> did you have something to say? Yes, I, hi. I was going to say maybe, kind of like what we talked about this morning, meet people where their challenge, challenges are at, where they're at. Maybe like for Chad and, and myself, um, challenge my challenge would be to actually get the numbers and to follow up with these people as opposed to talking because I've talked to hundreds and past you know what I mean I've been around a little bit longer so maybe just do a little bit more of a challenge something more does that make sense okay so for you a little bit your challenge is to go out and actually um, connect them on Facebook okay that's your challenge okay for those of you who want to take it to the next level, your challenge is to go out and come home with Facebook connections. Okay. Oh, I Let's say you talk to five people a day, 10 people a day. You go to the grocery store, how many people could you potentially talk to? Or you go walk through the mall. I know Dan and Ange, you guys were doing that for a while, right? Going to the mall and kind of doing some connection. What were you guys doing? Yeah, that was the, um, was it Find a Joe or something like that? Or? Yeah. Yeah, so it was like the exercise where, yeah, I was just getting you out of your comfort zone and just talking to people and just saying, like, you know, you need to speak with 100 people to find 10 people that want to do isogenics. So the same thing was if you talk to 100 people and you just pick a random name, you're going to find people that have that random name. So it was just to tie the two of those things together and just not be nervous when you're asking and not care if they say, no, my name is... You know, I'm a girl. My name is Mary. It's not Joe. So, you know, be just like someone of those jacks that didn't want to do it. We ended up doing a female name too, just so it made sense. But uh, yeah, we have business cards too, but we don't, I don't like to hand them out a lot because we use Google phone for it and it doesn't really work. So if they want to call us, it, like we never get the call. So I was tough to tell people like just email me. So I do what Chad does and I just connect on Facebook now that I actually have a smartphone. And just hand it to them and say, here, connect with me on. And then I found that works pretty well. Do you want to you explain the Joe since you brought it up? Yeah, so we actually had a clipboard. And then we just walked around the mall. And anybody that you kind of felt to talk to, you just walked up to them and said, hey, what's up? What's your name? I'm looking for someone named Joe. And then, um, you know, if their name wasn't Joe, I would just write down their name. My name's Doug. And I'd be like, all right, do you know anybody named Joe? And then they'd be like, oh, yeah, my cousin's name is Joe. I'm like, okay, cool, what's his name? And then you would write that down, and that's all it was. So you would know that it wasn't a big deal if they didn't have the name Joe. And But 
almost everybody knows somebody named Joe. So, you know, everybody eats food, but not everybody's looking to get healthy, but everybody might know somebody that's looking to get healthy. So So, there's all the, who do you know type thing, plus just talking to anyone. So the thought process, thank you for that. The thought process was that if I hired you and I paid you $54 for every person that you could find named Joe, would you go out and find people named Joe? You would. And if you've met somebody named Billy, would you go, no, your name is Joe. And if you, you are not allowed to be Billy anymore. <laughs> you wouldn't do that, right? You would just go, okay, and you would go to the next person until you found somebody named Joe. You're not going to force anybody to do anything, but that's what we do. We find people and we go, okay, I know it's not your day to get healthy, but I'm choosing for you to be healthy today, so it's just the way it has to be. But that's not, that's not the way it works. So just keep going until you find the person who's Joe. That makes sense. Five levels of leadership. Are you reading the five levels of leadership? I just bought it. You did. Have you started it? Uh, tonight. Great. Awesome. Thank you for showing me that. We put the challenge out to the team to read the five levels of leadership if they chose to step into some leadership role. And I have, you are actually the fourth person who has shown me their little book this week. So that makes me happy. You'll like it. You'll like it a lot. Did you have something you wanted to say, Nick? Nope. Okay. You guys good? I'm feeling good. Couple of challenges, videos and connections. Videos and connections, videos and connections. Maybe you could do a video while you were connecting with somebody. <gasps> How fun would that be? This is hot. And hey, we want to totally give Mr. Dirk a shout out for um, 20 pounds in three weeks, you guys. Jeff Dirk. He said, I don't see the difference, but then I put his picture side by side and showed him what his face looked like. He had to see the difference. Yeah. Well, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was, and I'm not hungry all the time. It's, it works out great, but the health deal is what I was, you know, I was just looking to lose weight to begin with, and then I'm feeling a whole lot better. You know, I kind of, I kind of like, um, I lost a bowling ball, okay? I got two more to go. That's the way I look. I'm not carrying around that extra bowling ball anymore. Can you imagine if I'd have said, here's 20 pounds, lug this around all day with you? Yeah, exactly. You would have thought I was crazy. <laughs> so good job. We just want to celebrate you too for your cool success the last couple of weeks. It's been really thank you. Cool to watch. So thank you. Guys. Yes, everybody. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> thank you guys for being on. Oh, you know what? I, if anybody's interested in doing some creative workshopping, you guys want me to teach you to creative workshop? Maybe you'll adopt it and maybe you won't. But I would love to teach you the process of the, the thought of, of workshopping around the mindset that something you really want has already been created and has already happened and is already over. So if you would choose to adopt this, I would, I would challenge you to find a creative workshop partner that you can text back and forth with or message back and forth with and congratulate them or do a remembrance. So, hey, Lori, remember last year when I found that amazing house in Mexico that I've been looking for and now all the team comes down and visits me there and isn't it so much fun, right? So something that I want that my goal that's already created that we're excited about that we can remember has already taken place. So it's a creative workshop of working from the law of attraction as something that has already been created. So instead of going, gee, I wish I could have that house in Mexico, we go from the thought process of it already being created. So if I'm constantly wishing I had something that I don't have, is that creating the vibration of having it? Or is that creating the vibration of it being far away? Right? So... If we create the vibration and the excitement and the emotion and the feeling around something that's happened, and it'll seem like a little bit of a lie at first, but once you get used to doing it, it creates a positive vibration in your life. And guess what you're attracting to you? 
that awesome thing that you have workshopped? Have I seen it work? Yes. And things that we've created, creative workshopped previously exist now. So does it work? Yes. Bless you, Laurie. <laughs> so does that make sense, you guys? Anybody not understand what I'm talking about? I know that was like a really short explanation. Does anybody not get it? So what, what somebody posted up, what was that? So Dan, Chad and I run a super successful sports training facility. So isn't it so awesome that Dan and Chad have this amazing, successful sports training facility? They do all this ninja stuff and it's CrossFit and all. It's crazy and fun and everybody loves it. it. Isn't that cool that you create that thing? It's already there. And as you do that, you're already... Um, you do the books and, and, and Nick does the books. He's really good at hiding their money. Um, <laughs> so when you think about the thought process of that, then as you start to see it is already done, think about the detail that you can put into that thought process. So we talk about creating it as if you were painting a butterfly wing. Imagine what a butterfly wing would look like and the detail that would go into that. So little by little by little, as you do that and you text that back and forth and, and you add things to that, it creates that positive vibration. So you don't have to do it, and I'm, I'm not saying you guys have to, I'm saying it's a, it's a cool, fun thing that raise your, lift yourself up and raise your vibration every day. Can I piggyback that, Jojo? Sure. And what Dave was talking about in the past with the cards, how, you write a goal down and it's like the brainstorming where you write that goal down and you visualize having achieved that goal, not visualizing the how, but having achieved that goal. And then you visualize your life as having achieved that goal and all the little things that have come into play, all the little details. And I tell you, you can't be stressed out when you're doing something like that because you can't be stressed out when you're grateful in a moment. So if you're thinking about your life in that moment and everything that's happening around you and all the cool stuff, there's no way you can be stressed and it just, it's a positive spiral. So I, I like this. I mean, you text back and forth and it's, it's like you're building on that vision each and every text. And then all of a sudden you got a, a thread of this life in essence. So it's kind of cool exercise. It is. And we've been doing it for a long time. I just, I taught it to Vinny over the summer and every morning when we walked on the beach while we were in California, we created workshop what was going on in our space. So he was like, what are you talking about at first? I was like, remember when we thought it was nuts, but then he was, he had fun with it every morning. So um, it's a cool thought to do. So remember when like three years ago, we sat around and talked about this creative workshop thing and then everyone started doing it. And now every single square of the face on that box, everyone's made a million bucks. Isn't that so cool that we did that? Yeah. <clears throat> See how it works. <laughs> Good. All right. If you guys choose to take that challenge, please do. Five levels of leadership, two minute video each week, all, all, each day this week. Not you, Lori. You just have to make a phone call every day. <laughs> you actually have to pick up the phone and talk to somebody. <laughs> How about I make a video of me making a phone call? <laughs> that would be perfect. <laughs> this is what I hate to do. Not only am I making a video, but I'm doing a phone call at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Double out of comfort zone. That would be awesome. All right. I'll be on right on top of that, Rose. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> She's like, I'm right now. All right. So, good? Questions? Thought processes? We good? Clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Awesome. All right. Go rock your life. Not everybody. Not everyone. Thank you, Jojo. Thank